U.S. border with Mexico have dropped significantly since the end of Title 42. The COVID era policy that restricted asylum seekers from entering the country ended Thursday. The Biden administration deployed extra help in what had been expected to be chaos at the border. But the Homeland Security Secretary says border encounters have dropped 50 percent. Asylum seekers are now required to apply online first or seek protection in countries they traveled through. Hundreds of asylum seekers are arriving here in Chicago. There is a struggle to find housing and care for them all. Many arriving to the emergency room at Sinai looking for help. And Nelly Garcia is a social worker at Sinai. She leads the effort to assist new arrivals, help them find access to resources. Nelly, thank you so much for coming in. Give me an idea of how many people are arriving we to are, Sinai. To Sinai. So just last week we had two, five individual Person families? families. Oh my goodness. Yeah, with babies, with pregnant women. Oh. So we're seeing these families who have very complex situations going on within their family structure. You say you're a mom, so this really hurts your heart, doesn't yes. it? Yes. A hundred percent. I it, I think it feels differently. I think on the one side, as a social worker, you get into this to save the world. As a mom, I can't take watching pregnant women, babies sleeping on the floor, so knowing that they're babies sleeping at police stations, it really hits differently um, when you have to come home and you know that you're leaving behind people that you just have to try to figure out how right. to help. You, Sinai is really gonna help their immediate needs right now. Yes. So, so what are some of the immediate needs so we can see, we can get an idea of what we're dealing with right now? So we at Sinai, we've opened our doors. We want to help migrant families. When we have migrant families, migrant individuals come to, to our hospital, we are making sure that their immediate needs are taken care of, that they have fresh clothes, that they have fresh hygiene products, we want to make sure that they've ate. Sometimes yeah. even the most basic things like making sure that they had breakfast. And the pregnant women have to have certain nutrients yes. to help with the babies. Yes. And I know you have a list of things like blankets, underwear for men, women, and children, socks, hygiene products, yes. unisex clothing, children's clothing, gym shoes, flip-flops, pull-ups, and diapers. Yes. How are you getting all that? Through donations? So through donations and really through... Chicagoans, right? We look for, we look out for one another. Chicago is a family. And so I'm looking to Chicagoans to help us help our migrant brothers and sisters and our migrant families. We know that the new mayor, we just mm -hmm. <laughs> inaugurated a new mayor today. He, one of his executive orders was to assign a deputy mayor in charge of immigrants, migrants, and people in, in need in the community, refugees. Yes. You want to talk with not the deputy mayor, but the mayor, right? Yes. As a social worker, my life has been dedicated to helping Chicagoans in whatever situation that they find themselves in, whether it's somebody who's been affected by homelessness, substance abuse, domestic violence. I want to talk directly with the mayor. As somebody who lives and works in the trenches of Chicago, what better person who directly sees the underbelly of Chicago than to help lead Chicago in the right direction. Did you help initiate this for Sinai to do something like that? And how can Sinai keep up with this? So I think the, it was a collaboration. It was my heart as a social worker and Sinai's ability to, and, and what they stand for mm -hmm, in the community, mm -hmm. which is to be a beacon of hope for people. Um, what was the second question? Well, I just, how can you keep this up? We're oh. getting refugees, we're getting migrants in every, on a daily basis. How yes. do you keep this up? And are, are you housing them as well yeah. in, in rooms? So we're not housing them, okay. but we are trying to establish a very strategic plan gotcha. both with the city of Chicago, with local police stations, and really make sure that we are helping each other out. So donations, should they call you? Should they just drop them off at Sinai? What should they do? Yes, yeah, so there's a number they can call directly Got to it. make arrangements for donations. Um, I think it'll be listed. Uh, and they, and once that we can arrange something, we'll, we can figure out, drop off, and pick up. Fabulous. Nellie Garcia yeah. at Sinai, you're doing great work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.